Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a skein cozy skein holder. It goes by many names and what it is, it basically um, go, it, it, it's made from this really stretchy knit fabric that allows you to put your yarn through and keep it from unraveling as you work with your yarn from the inside. So when you pull through, pull from the inside and you work. So these are very fun and very easy to, easy to make and I wanted to show you just in case you guys wanted to make some for yourselves. I also have some available if you want to purchase them on my Etsy shop and I'll link everything down below in the materials I used. So let's get started with materials. So for sure you need your knit fabric and this right here I got at Joann's. I believe this was, I only got a half a yard and this is called Rust Floral and it cost me about $8.50 for half a yard. So when you are cutting your material, make sure you're cutting the stretchy part the um, lengthwise. Make sure that resistance, because some of them do have a lot more resistance on one side, is the width. So let me show you. This is the template we're going to be using. And it's a 5 by 10 and a half with a half an inch seam allowance because, and I know that usually you do about a fourth, and you could do, but um, I just went ahead and got a half seam allowance because this fabric and material is so thin that I allow myself a little bit more so I can get an even cleaner edge and it doesn't bu bunch up me trying to get very close to the seam. So that is why, but you can definitely change the measurements to what you prefer if you want it bigger or, um, you want it wider or a lot thinner and also um, I really recommend getting the this cutter right here be, uh, it's the rotary rotary cutter this is by it is by Westcott and this came as a set and I got this at Walmart about $12 and it's uh, the best thing I think I've, I've invested in it's a uh, great cutters they allow to allow for you to get these clean edges a lot faster uh, definitely saves you time and doesn't have all those really uh, very <laughs> bad cuts right there because it it is so thin that it bunches up as you go and this just allows for a very easy clean cut So that's way easier. And of course, if you're going to be using something like this, make sure you have a mat to go with it so you don't destroy your furniture. Um, if you guys, uh, you could also use pins to make sure to help you out. I don't use this. I don't use any in this video. You could also do this um, hand sewing it. Uh, but right now, today, I'm going to be using my sewing machine and I have it on the straight going to do the um, straight sewing so just regular sewing so you could do this by hand if you wanted to so let's get started I already went ahead and pre-cut my fabric but this is a template that I would use I use like very heavy cardstock you could use just a regular um, ruler and some like uh, f fabric markers that you that you can wash away and use the the inside of it that'll work and help you guide you through it so we're, we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is cut our fabric. So we're going to cut our fabric and then we're going to turn it inside out and hot dog way. We're going to fold it up like this and then we're going to go ahead and seam this edge right here. I already have the bobbin ready to go and my matching color for the, um, I already have the matching thread matching the the fabric as close as I could. It's like a little rusty brown, which goes with the rusty floral. And let's get started.
I'm just going to go ahead the excess thread off and we're going to turn it inside out. So it's like a little two, like this. Now we're going to go ahead and finish up by just sewing these two edges together, making sure the seam is nice and placed here at the bottom. And then I, I know this is the part of the edge. I'm going to do that last and start on this side. And remember, you still have that half an inch of seam allowance. So you get to have just a little bit more over here on this side. So let's go ahead and sew that. Just trying to get the fabric as even as possible on both sides as you're sewing it. For this part, I do like to backstitch on here because it likes to open up on the side. And I'll show you. Okay, so now. So this is what I am talking about. Like over here, focusing, but yes, like this. Versus it's just open. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish sewing. on both sides and as you can see I did have that seam allowance right there and I'm going to I do like that raw edge especially on this material so what I'm going to use is use my cutter and just cut a straight line through so it's nice um, nice straight seam line And just trim some of the edging. And you're done. That is your skein holder. It's cozy. It's nice and stretchy. And now you can use it on your yarn. I hope you guys like this tutorial. And if you guys make one, make sure you tag me on uh, Instagram or Facebook. I would love to see what you create. And I would love to see all the cute little yarn pictures with them on. Um, thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet already. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.